guys, it's Hannah here from Tangled Web Creations and today I'm bringing you another video of what I've been doing this week. I've been making some pinwheel um, boxes that hold the official Zentangle tiles as well as some of my mandala projects. So um, I've made several in lots of different sizes and I will go ahead and show you how they work. So I'm going to start with these three. They're all made um, in, in pretty much the same way, although they're all different sizes to cater for the different sized tiles. Um, to start with this one, you can see that uh, it's pretty square, it's quite sturdy, and it's got a belly band around the centre that matches um, the paper that I've used. And then at the front you've got this pinwheel shape. Um, now it closes just like a normal box would, so you can just flip that bit open and then these these sides will come out as well and as you can see it holds the apprentice tiles. Now I've put 10 in here um, and it seems to close without um, any problem um, and I have made the belly band to fit holding the 10 tiles. Um, and once you've closed it, you just slide the, the belly band around the middle and then that's it. It's closed and it's all ready for passing on as a gift, going to craft shows or whatever else you want to use it for. Um, this one is exactly the same, just within diff different papers. Uh, and I've made this one to fit the official Zendala tiles. Oh, they're upside down. Again, I've put 10 in here. Um... And this one is also for the Zendala tiles, but I've made it slightly different. I've made the pinwheel fold back uh, a lot narrower than the others. And I've put the um, Renaissance Zendalas in here. Uh, moving on, I've got two I've made for the standard Zentangle tiles and one I've made for the 3Z. So I shall just quickly run through these so you can see there's the black Zentangle tiles in that one. This one I've put the white Zentangle tiles and again I've put 10 of each in each packet uh, and then this one um, I've actually put in the Renaissance 3Z again I've got 10 of those in there and then we move on to the little diddy ones which I always think are so cute once they get to the bijou size. Um, in this one, I've got 10 of the white bijou tiles. Um, this one, I've put in 10 of the black. And finally, this one, I've put in 10 of the Renaissance. Um, and then I've made some extra ones. So I've made some larger ones that I decided I wanted to put some mandala books that I'd made in. Um, so this one I've got, um, actually this is a, a four inch mandala stencil which is part of the Tangled Web Creation stencil set. And this is just a little um, booklet that I've made to fit the stencil and I've just decorated the front. I will be making another video that I will be releasing in the next week that shows you um, how to use these stencils. So I shall put that one to the side. Um, and this one, again, is it's the same. I've just made it with a little mandala book where I can start putting my mandalas in when I'm on the go. And the last two that I've done, they are considerably bigger. Um, as you can see, they're a lot, lot bigger than the small bijou size ones that are only very, very small in comparison. So <clears throat> in this one here, um, with the butterflies on, I've made this uh, to hold the five inch Tangle Web Creations stencil. And I've just made a coordinated size um, booklet that I've started to do my mandalas in for traveling on the go and then the last one is this one again it's exactly the same size I will be making another five inch size mandala um, booklet that I can take with me but for the time being 
traveling on the go, I've put the rest of the Tango Web Creations stencils in. So this is the five inch dotty one, um, which I've been using to help point uh, measurements for making mandalas, zendalas, and some of the official zentangle tiles. And then I've got a selection of shapes stencils. So there's two hexagons there. I've then got the two sets of circles. Um, there's then three sets of squares. So there's the, the larger squares and then there's um, four small ones, which actually um, I've been using this as a window stencil as well for some of my card making. Then there's the, the medium sized square. There's one triangle shape and there's two hearts. Um, all of these stencils are actually measured at the same size, which is why I've been able to put them in the same um, box. And they're all on the tangledwebcreations.com website. Should you require any more details, please don't hesitate to leave me a message and I will be doing another video shortly to let you know the dimensions, instructions, materials that you need to make this project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much and I'll be back soon. Bye.